welcome. So here we are then in London to launch something very exciting. What's happening? I'm here to officially announce that I'm an ambassador for the International Swim League and I'm also going to be swimming on the London team. It's going to be a great team looking to get to the finals in Vegas. Now you have been quite vocal in the past about how you think the sport should be promoted. What, what do you think of the direction we're going in now? I, th I honestly do you know, you know, believe in the ISL so much that it's going to be the way this, the, the, kind of the whole calendar is going to shift around, hopefully, the ISL. Obviously, for me, the Olympics will still be the pinnacle of sport. You know, that, that's the way it's always going to be, I think. Uh, it's just one of those things, like look at athletics, you've got the Diamond League, you know, the Olympics is still the pinnacle. But for me, it's, f f it's kind of how the sport is going to grow. And to enable it to grow, we need to race more, we need to build more of a profile, we need teams as we are going to get. And yeah, it's all about building profile now and kind of exposure. Is the ISL going to be a great platform to find new stars of the future? Oh, incredibly. It's incredibly. I think the, thing, the best thing of ISL is it brings all countries together. And when you've got you know, multiple stars on each team, people start to kind of pay more attention to that team. And the rivalry that we'll have probably, I think our main rival is probably going to be Energy Standard, luckily enough. So it's, uh, and you've got some very, very fast swimmers. And, Something you know, previous uh, organisations have struggled with before is getting all the athletes on board, all the top athletes on board, and creating almost a trust and belief that this will work. So, and yeah, I mean, in the end, it's going to you know, hopefully you know pay you know really good like what the athletes deserve, and uh, that's that's exactly what you know, why why shouldn't they? So I'm guessing from the promotional point of view, the whole structure of the league is going to be quite interesting to the fans. Are they going to have special names, the teams? Well, hopefully, but you know that's going to be down to the swimmers and the fans to get us a name, pretty much, for the London team. And there's going to be a big competition that you know, there's going to be many prizes. So, yeah, get a good name. Have you got any ideas yourself? I don't. I don't know. You know, <laughs> I keep something that I don't want is London Dolphins. No, I agree. I'm guessing with the names, it's going to shape people's impression of the league. Got a lot of different types of names in rugby league, for example, and they're quite Americanized. Yeah. Do you think it's going to go down that kind of road and Americanized sort of names, or is it going to be very English? Well, hopefully for us it's going to be quite English, but you have got American teams who we're going to have to be uh, quite cautious about that. But I, I, we just want a name that kind of defines our value as athletes um, and something that's quite fun as well, so not too serious. But yeah, any help that will be you know highly appreciated. So winning the ISL is definitely something on your list for 2019. We've got a very good team so far. I don't see why not. It's going to be very tactical because of, I think it's only 32 swimmers. So we're going to have to obviously, I'm only swimming three, I think I am. So it's uh, the other breaststroke is obviously going to have to step up. And, you know, from the other teams, we're going to have some really good competition because the home team, I believe, does uh, either choose a short course or long course. So probably when we go to America, they're all going to do choose short course because they all come up on short course yards and that's going to be their strong point. But if they come over here, we'll you know, probably do long calls because that's what we've been brought up with. So there's a lot more to it than just having the athletes on your team. It's how you manage the athletes, how you, you know, pick sh your strengths, and then sometimes you pick a, a time to lose in a sense. It almost sounds strange, but you know, when's the best time to almost come second, I guess. Mm -hmm. So quite an exciting day today to get the message out that this uh, new league is being launched. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. It's uh, probably been wait people have been waiting years for this. Uh, you know, I know personally I've been waiting a long time for you know, a professional league to come through and you know, you know, hopefully it'll all kick off.